Yo, what up, y'all? So because I had such a good time yesterday uh, out and about eating in back lanes, I figured, let's just do it again. But today, we're gonna do it with the second best food, and that, of course, would be pizza. Now, uh, this pizza place is called Super Point. It is like a local, it just recently opened its first location, and now they have like an express location where you can actually go like, almost like New York style, you can just come grab a slice. I have not tried this location yet. I've had a slice before at the original. It's quite good, but I just wanna try it here, and maybe get a couple different slices kind of thing. The style of pizza that it is, is like, I wanna say like a cross between Napolitan, but also cross with like almost um, like a New York slice sort of deal. Let's head on out like a newborn baby. It's black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah, fuck with me. All right, so as we're en route, I have stumbled across more urban art. <laughs> this is a whole different location, a whole different area of the city. But again, we have found a whole alleyway full of different art. Pretty dope. This guy's screaming, or it looks like he might give a blowjob. I'm not sure. This looks kind of weird. It's trying to scope for the next eating spot. I have managed to uh, find this staircase like the other one, but... Uh, it's, as you can see, there's a lock up there, so I can't go up there, but I would really love to. This is cool too. That shit's pretty wild. Cool door, actually, holy. Yeah, 2018 Buff Monster, that's pretty dope. Oh, this is sick. This is super cool with these vines. Yeah, everything back here is just completely tagged. This is wild. This is so clean. This looks really fresh too. Like it just got done. Arcade task? Arcade task, his signature. I don't know, this is crazy. This must have took this dude time, holy. This is awesome. Illuminati shit. Yeah, this person's talented as fuck, holy. This is beautiful, that's crazy, dude. Yo, graffiti artists are actually not fucking crazy. That's, that's so dope to me. All right, well. And now we're back into a uh, nice little neighborhood there. Nice little neighborhood. But yeah, I'm just banging down these back streets right now. I feel like, why not? Get off the crowded street, don't have to bump into people. Oh, well, that's cool. This place is getting like rented. All right, well, let's get to stepping. I'll see you when there's pizza. This is the spot right here, as you can see. Pizza slices. I'm gonna go get it and then we'll, uh, and then we'll get a place to eat. All right, ladies and gents, girls and boys, we have had success. I have procured the slice, and uh, I've also found this random secluded location to film. Um, it's really hilarious and kind of sketchy, but we got some pallets, we have these shipping containers. I'm in my own little nook here. I came in this way by these fucking dumpsters, and then in back here is just like, oh, and what do we have here? Oh, hello, sir. Good day to you. So as you can see, we do have the slice. Let's get a up close inspection. Look at the seasoning, look at this crust, look at this sauce. Pepperoni is nice and crispy, lots of herbs, pools of grease, and I wanna dive in it. Pool full of grease, I'ma dive in it. There's cheese, nice and melty. Look at this crust, Ick, nice and golden brown. Hear that? I don't know if you can hear that, that little snap, that little, nice little air in it. So this right here was 450 for this slice. And that slice is big. That's my hand. Two hands of a slice by, by hand measurement. And of course, have a Canada Dry ginger ale. What up, yo? If this doesn't look exactly like the exact same slice that I just showed you, it's because it's not. I fully just filmed the whole like review and eating of that slice with the angle on my camera flipped backwards so all you could hear is the audio and you were looking at a fence the whole time. So I fully just walked back, got a new slice, a new can of ginger ale, 
and I just ate already so uh, I'm just gonna have to eat again now because I didn't come all this way and do all that for nothing <laughs> so here is the same pizza just a different slice so good though let's like come on amazing check out this crust so nice nice and crispy nice and like a little bit of like char on it. I'm thinking folding is the move for one of these. It's kind of like a New York style slice, right? So let's fold her up. Just get rid of this plate. Although a very classic plate, I do like that plate. Let's make a perfect pizza paper airplane. All right. Okay. And uh, let's fly that shit directly into my mouth. Oh my God. The crunch factor is out of control. Really jet? Really plain? Are you going to do me like that right now? I'm trying to get some like ASMR type sounds here, bruh. The people can't hear the crunch if you're fucking with me. Please stop fucking with me. Thank you. So the fold is the move. It's like a little book. The Bible of pizza. Guys, I'm telling you. This is just too much. It's so good. There's parm sprinkled after. All those herbs. Adding to the flavor. Sauce is almost... I want to say it has a little spice to it. A little spice kick in a sense. A dough. Come on. Perfect. Hear that crunch, that crisp? Look at this dough. Like, look at this dust. And then it just perfectly snaps. But then it's also kind of got that soft gooey as well. Pepperoni, nice and salty. So good. The location is Queen and Jameson. So it's on Queen West. Just a little storefront, walk in. The guy's just there popping those slices. $4.50 for what I think is a pretty big slice, so. I'll easily pay four bucks, four fifty, for a pizza of this quality, a slice this size. No problem, any day. Nice cold ginger ale too. Whew. So good. I never knew eating in back alley is, is like, could be so fun. It was actually so sick. Like, the routes I took to get here, trying to scout a location, just seeing all this weird stuff that you n normally wouldn't see if you just walked up the main street. Doing this, having to scout these weird locations to get like <laughs> privacy A and B, just like weird shit like this. Shipping container with graffiti. Not as nice as yesterday's graffiti, but it'll do. Um, yeah, just like push me off the, my beaten path. Because I feel like I take the same routes all the time in so many places and it does get monotonous. It gets kind of boring. So for this to like get me out and like see some other stuff and like make new discoveries it's actually pretty dope so i think i'm gonna make it a series called back streets back streets s-t-r-e-a-t-s -E street eats so we're gonna eat in the streets uh in the back lanes alleyways if you didn't know that's a pun a real punny eye. Mmm. So good. Please do try it. Amen. I just got scoped out by the security guard. Because I ate a huge other slice, I'm dying. I really can't finish this, to be honest with you guys. And... 
now that the security, security card just came, I am feeling kind of sketchy, <laughs> even though I'm doing nothing wrong. And he walked away like he had no problem with me chilling, but. I already fucked up and ate one whole slice. Not on camera, so. I can't flaw this pizza though. It gets like a perfect rating for me. Five out of five, 10 out of 10, whatever it is. A million out of a million, I don't know. It, like, I would just buy it over and over and over. So if you ever find yourself on Queen West, in Parkdale. Super Point Pizza. Amazing. Probably the best slice I've ever had in Toronto, to be honest. So, so, so good. Alright, well, till the next one. Till the next sketchy alleyway. You know what it is. You're gonna eat good, live well, stay true. Peace. So tempted to run into this right now and just see what happens. Yo, what up, bruh? What up, bruh? I'm gonna get attacked by pigeons if I fuck with them. Later, boys.